Hi there, it's Grant here. I hope you're doing well. In this video, what I want to do is just cover um, an email Tika Tawari has sent out. Um, and he's basically explaining how the US dollar could lose 50% of its buying power um, unless you do this now or do something now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick through this email because it's incredibly interesting um, and informative and I think it's very important to know because if you don't know he did a massive uh, online presentation the other night where he is basically predicting the final collapse of the US dollar and it's all down to what the Fe uh, the federal government and the US che treasury are going to be doing and it all has to do with bonds so if you're excited to learn more about the video one or like one and subscribe to get more content like this before I get into the video I've actually created a free report um, called the final crypto bull run two key events which will trigger the next final crypto bull run and in this report I listed two key events which will trigger it and my five favorite crypto coins that could soar in value maybe up to 5x 10x so if you want to get hold of this report completely free I'll link to this page down in the comments in the description below just come here click the button enter your email address and I will send you this free crypto report completely free where you get my free crypto coins that can sort of value so let's just have a look um, uh, at Tika's email here because I think it's very very um, very very important so basically it says friends we're witnessing a seismic shift in what people consider a safe asset in the glo global economy the guaranteed return from traditional safe havens, havens isn't enough to appeal or to appease global investors, especially when the purchasing power of money is destroyed, destroyed by inflation. The asset class at great risk of the seismic shift is bonds, in particular US Treasury bonds. Treasuries are considered the safest and most secure investments in the world because they're backed by the full faith and credit of the US government. However, that hasn't always been true. Bonds purchased in 1970 saw their purchasing power cut in half by 1980. In 1970, you could have retired with 500,000 in bonds that would have paid you about $35,000 per year. That would have been a very comfortable living in 1970, equivalent to about 117,000 in today's money. But by 1980, the buying power of your dollars was cut in half. That meant your 500,000 in bonds had the buying power of only 250K. You lost 50% of your nest egg in just 10 years. Uh, on top of that, your standard of living would have dropped by 50%. Your 35k per year in bond income would have dropped uh, to 17.5k of stuff. In the span of a decade, you went from having a safe and secure lifestyle full of little luxuries that made life interesting to a life of clipping coupons and watching every dollar like a hawk. 20 years later, in 1990, your 500k nest egg would only be worth the equivalent of 147k and your $35,000 income would only buy 10k worth of goods and services. You went from well off to ruin ruinously poor doing the most vulnerable part of your life. What's coming for all of us could be far worse than that. If this decade mirrors the 1970s by my calculations bonds won't offer compelling real return unless they average over 9% for the decade. Of course the Fed would never raise interest rates to 9%. If they did, the government would go bankrupt. Not good. Right now, the total US debt stands at a record 33 trillion at 9% interest. The net annual interest payment to service that debt alone would be 2.8 trillion, which is insane. These are insane numbers. So let me put that in context. The US government generated 4.9 trillion in tax revenues last year. Its biggest annual expenses were Medicare and Medicaid. 1.4 trillion, social security, 1.2 trillion, and defense, 800 billion. So at a 9% interest rate, the payments on the national debt would be nearly as much as the outlays for Medicare and Medicaid, social security, and defense combined. This level of debt is the end game, what I've been warning about, a doom loop that tips America over the edge from dollar superpower to the collapse of a dollar's purchasing power. If it's doom loop, use your safe store of money, real estate, gold, bonds, won't be able to keep pace with the erosion of a dollar's buying power, but one asset will. Uh, this asset will flourish. He says, if you're a long-time reader, you know I'm talking about Bitcoin. I know you've 
you know, you've heard me pound the drum on Bitcoin for years, and many of you are thankful I've done so. Since Ticker first recommended BTC in April 2016, it's up 9,328%. That's enough to turn every $1,000 into $94,280. I believe Bitcoin will eventually hit up 500k. That means at least 40 next more upside from here. So I have to drag you kicking and screaming across the finish line. Well, you'll thank me when your Bitcoin is 1,300% higher than it is today. Meanwhile, those who didn't listen to me will see the purchasing power of their dollars at least cut in half and probably far worse than that because our debt burden as a percentage of gross domestic product GDP is far higher. Here's some sobering perspective. In 1970, our debt uh, to GDP ratio was 35%. Today is pushing 130%. If we lost 50% of our purchasing power from the 1970s, the debt to GDP was three times less than it is now. So how much purchasing power will we lose this decade? It'll be more than you can bear and far more than your stocks, bonds, gold and real estate can make up for. The advantage, the advantage of Bitcoin is that you don't need to own much of it to protect your net worth. Let's say you have $1 million to invest um, in investable capital. In 10 years, if you know inflation erodes the buying power of capital to 500,000, in other words, all else remaining equal, prices would have doubled. How do you protect against that? Let's say you take 5% of your 1 million investable capital by 50k worth of BTC or Bitcoin. Bitcoin goes up 14x from here, you'd be sitting on 700,000. So just a 5% allocation to Bitcoin alone could maintain most of your purchasing power even if you left the rest of your money in cash i know this seems outrageous but i've seen this play out before the united spent its states experiences an economic crash this could be war pandemic or rising inflation uh to rescue the economy the fed loses its mine and floods cash into the system when that happens bitcoin explodes in price outpacing every other asset we saw this happen in 2020 during the height of a pandemic in its infinite wisdom, the Fed unleashed the money supply at speed unrivaled in history. On March 15, 2020, the Fed cut interest rates to near zero, instantly increased the Treasury's security holdings by $700 billion, and that was just the start. As of mid-2021, total money pre printing totaled $13 trillion. All of that money printing caused record high inflation, and high inflation equals the start of cross-the-board bull market in assets. From 2020... 2022, the median house price in the US grew from 300k to 400k. That's a rise of 30%. And around the same period, stocks climbed 50%, 52%. But Bitcoin would do even better. If you can see from this chart, um, Bitcoin was up 545% between 2020 and 2022, far outseeding any other asset. On March 17th, 2020, Bitcoin traders lows 5,032 dollars 50 cents just two days later fed chair jerome powell and his team went about the greatest monetary expansion america's ever seen by the second half of 2021 bitcoin reached an all-time high of 69k a rise of 1271 percent here's why bitcoin outperformed every other asset during this extreme money printing the fed can print as many dollars as it likes but the number of bitcoin will never exceed 21 million this preset scarcity along with Bitcoin security features, is why the crypto has widely outpaced other investments over the past decade. Smart people realise it's one of the best ways to protect and actually increase their purchasing power in the face of rampant money printing and rising inflation. So Tika says you need to position yourself now. If you've been following me this month, you know I've done a warning about the can trigger, trigger the final collapse of the dollar. Later this month, to fund the government's ongoing operations and tr the trillions in debt it continue, continues to stack up, the US Treasury will auction off a host of Treasury bills and bonds to the market. But there's a gigantic elephant in the room. What if there's not enough buyers to soak up all of this new supply? The Treasury needs to sell hundreds of billions in its auction to fund the government. But if it can't, all hell will break loose. The inability to sell bonds to service the absurd debt spiral means Powell and his minions at the Fed will have no other choice but to wind up that money printer again and dramatically increase the money supply so they can buy US 
bonds. If the money supply ramps up again, then I expect Bitcoin could see 500k faster than you can think. And just like 2020, Bitcoin's bull run wax as a slingshot for a handful of smaller altcoins. These tokens won't just follow on hot on Bitcoin's heels, but streak past the possible gains up for grabs. I even went on camera on March 12, 2020, at the beginning of the global pandemic, and said that in terms of crypto, this is actually a tremendous opportunity. Our world this is very different, very definitely very difficult to live through and sit through. I need need you to view it as an opportunity. Seven days later, I he published advice on five cryptos I believe would probably seize that opportunity. These cryptos, from the time I recommended them in 2020, their peaks went up 9,227%. You get the idea. Big, big gains. Friends, these are prime conditions for Bitcoin and crypto to enter another gigantic bull run. The Fed goes bonkers again and winds up the printing press. So you should absolutely buy some Bitcoin. It's a terrific asset, but the biggest gains during the Fed the final collapse won't come from Bitcoin. Uh, last week I held a special briefing. So basically he pitches, um, uh, you know, his uh, replay of his big presentation the other night. So the big idea here uh, really from Tika is that, yeah, the do if, if basically if the Fed starts printing huge amounts of money again, and let's not forget inflation is still high and we've potentially got for a major war in the Middle East. Um, if that all kicks off, yeah, then inflation is going to soar even higher because oil will spike um, and the Fed will have to start printing money again and things will go crazy. And also, another thing, crypto has been surging over the past couple of days uh, because there's been news that there's a seven-day window uh, that the SEC could potentially approve a spot uh, Bitcoin ETF um, news has been surging just on the news that one of these things could be approved over the next seven days. If it's approved, Bitcoin and crypto is absolutely going to soar. On on approval, it wouldn't surprise me if Bitcoin went near its old high or maybe even surpassed it. And um, a spot Bitcoin ETF has nine applications, including Black Rocks. If they get approved, um, Bitcoin. Billions will flood into Bitcoin and we'll be off and running on probably one of the biggest crypto bull runs we've ever seen. And money's going to flood into crypto. I wouldn't surprise me if Bitcoin in the months ahead went up to 100, 150,000 and countless other smaller cryptos. Absolute surge in value. And one I'm keeping an eye on very closely is Solana. Solana's super quick, has low transaction fees. And I think it is one of the sleeping giants of the next crypto bull run that could easy 10x. That isn't financial advice, but I think Solana has got huge upside in the crypto bull run. Anyone get a bit off track here? Basically, what I'm saying is I'm basically backing up what Tika is saying is that with all of the, you know, the US dollar and the US government is in big trouble with the war raging, with inflation going high and huge debt levels, the safe haven um basically is bitcoin and the wider crypto market i believe i, I i'm a heavy adopter of crypto um i i joined tika Tuari's palmage letter 18 months ago and over that time i've been slowly building up my crypto portfolio and in the past i do believe 30 30 30 days alone my crypto portfolio is already up 20 percent um you know, I'm making pretty decent gains now and I expect this to absolutely continue in the face of roaring inflation and the Fed potentially going on another big money printing spurge. So basically, there's no better time to join crypto. I'm massively believing crypto and I think it could, um, next year is going to see some crazy things in crypto. Um uh, probably one of the last money or wealth creating opportunities we'll see in the crypto space before crypto goes mainstream in the next couple of years. So that's what I've got for you today. Um, I thought this was so interesting from Tika, uh, but there's ways to protect yourself with Bitcoin and crypto. Also, if you want to, you know, get Tika's 
very best crypto advice and how you can protect yourself from the potential collapse of the US dollar. I highly recommend you join his palmish letter. He's got all of these special reports here, how to opt out of the system. This is all about how to protect yourself from the dollar collapse. He's got his seven-figure crypto retirement portfolio. I've already invested in these here. He shows you how to buy Bitcoin safely and how to store it. And he got all of these special updates here of how to protect yourself from the US dollar and how to prevent, mentally prepare yourself for a Bitcoin ETF, which is imminently coming. I, I think one of these things could be approved by January 10th. Um, and I, I actually believe we're actually in the crypto bull run now. I really do. But once one of these things are approved and the Fed starts printing money, Bitcoin and crypto is going to really see some serious gains. So if you want to join the Palmage letter, highly recommend it. Um, you can join by coming to this page. I'll link to it in the comments below. Um, and basically, you can drive 75% off for just $49. Highly recommend it. I don't think there's ever been a better time to join, especially with the US dollar potentially losing its buying power and its value. And with and you know we're on the pretty much on the verge of one of the biggest crypto bull runs we will ever see. So I'll link to this page in the description. Just click here and you can join $49. Anyway, that is what I've got for you. I really hope you found this useful and informative and I'll speak to you soon.